Day two of the Diamond League finals being held in Brussels was not as impressive as day one for the Jamaican athletes. However, Akira Nugent, Cheyenne Salmon, Rahinja Campbell and others put in solid performances on day two. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we continue to grow. You let it the notification bell so you know in the next video drop to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, Romain Beckford has had the best season of his young, high-jumping career. The Jamaican was recently seen in a viral video with himself and Letsile Tebogo of Botswana, uh, where uh, Tebogo was teaching him how to do, I guess, a dance from Botswana. Now, I, I can only show you a few seconds of the actual music, but the rest of the video, you'll have no sound. Copyright. Romain Beckford did compete today in the men's high jump and ended up in fourth with a final best jump in today's competition of 2.22. It was won, of course, by Italy's Tambire, who had a winning jump of 2.34 meters. Tambire did have a heck of a time. Remember, he lost his wedding wing, ring at the <laughs> Paris Olympic Games, and um, I think he had a gallbladder issue. Ooh. Just the idea, man. Painful. So we saw this video of Brianna Liston, and we just had to share. Keep wondering what will happen for her in the 2025 season. Introducing Peter Lloyd World Merchandise, where style meets comfort. From trendy tees to cozy hoodies, we've got something for everyone. Elevate your wardrobe with our high-quality, fashionable designs that make a statement. Whether you're hitting the streets or chilling at home, Peter Lloyd World has you covered. Shop now and upgrade your look with Peter Lloyd World merchandise. Available exclusively at Peter Lloyd World. Link in description below. Well, Julian Alfred is top of the world in the women's short sprints. Um, she is the world indoor champion in the 60 meters, the Olympic Games champion, as well as the Diamond League champion, Olympic Games champion in the 100 meters, of course, and the Diamond League champion in the 100 meters, of course. Uh, this young lady from St. Lucia, trained in Jamaica, is absolutely on fire. Thought you might find, find this interview interesting. You're a clean sweeper. From the top of this year to the bottom of this year, we did indoor championships, cool. Went outside, Olympic champion. Cool. Came here, Diamond League champion. Clean sweep the whole year. What? Julian? <laughs> Did you enter into this season knowing that? No. Seriously? Yeah, no. Like, I mean, I always try to take it one race at a time, to be honest. Um, like, indoors, I was just focusing on just indoors. And after I was done with that, it's like, okay, now on to the Olympics. And then after I was done with the Olympics, I got a little too relaxed, I'm not going to lie. And I was like, just enjoy the rest of the season. But I think after my loss in Zurich, I was a bit mad at myself and hard on myself. Um, and it kind of woke me up a little bit to just not get too relaxed, especially when there is a trophy on the line. So I came prepared for that mentally. <laughs> we saw. <laughs> <laughs> I took my braids out. I was like, yeah, I'm going back to the old person that I was. And I was a bit too relaxed, you know. Here she is in that Diamond League final winning 100 meter race. Talu Smith, Nita, and Rosius. Away first time. Really solid start from Asher Smith, but so was Alfred. And Alfred giving it all here and using that power. Coming back as Talu Smith. But look at look at the run there from Dina Asher Smith to get. So big up to our Caribbean sister there, Julian Alfred. Now, unfortunately, yesterday we neglected to mention that Natoya Ghoul ended up third with a run of one. 
8.5894. It means 800 meters, which is a really great way for her to close out her 2024 season. So congratulations to Jamaica's Natoya Gould. Um, yesterday, day one in the Diamond League finals over there in Brussels, taking third in the women's 800 meters. Top Ben, and now Mary Mora fighting. That's a good time. Good look there. Great way to close out our season. Big up Natoya Gould Toppin. Now, Rahinja Campbell today uh, came up with the third place throw at the Brussels Diamond League, the Diamond League finals in the men's shot put. Um, he came third overall uh, with a throw of uh, 21.95. Surprisingly, the USA's Ryan Krauser took second with 22.79. And Italy's Leonardo Fabri uh, came first with a meet record, national record for Italy and personal best of 22.98. Congrats to the Paris Olympic Games bronze medalist in the men's shot put. Now, Malik James King and Roshan Clark competed in the finals of the Diamond League men's 400 meter hurdles. And well, I don't know, I don't know how to say about this one because the truth is, Roshan Clark was almost guaranteed uh, second place here. He was challenging and then. He hit the barrier, I think the second to last barrier, and it was just game over because at this level, it's almost impossible to recover. Sean Clark looked good. Um, you know, and I, I'm pretty sure he's kicking himself right now. So we're sending out some positive energy to Sean Clark. You're going to have a great 2025 season. Uh, in the end, it was the Santos who won in 47.93, with Sam becoming second in 48.20. Um, Rashawn Clark came fifth in 49.08 and Malik James King came sixth in 49.37. Now we should talk about the fact that Malik James King has had a breakout season. I think he's going to have a great 2025 if he remains healthy. I think both the young Jamaicans are going to do well. Now in the women's 100 meters hurdles, the two Jamaicans faced down against Jasmine Camacho Quinn. Akira Nugent, the world's fastest with 12.24 for the 2024 season. And Daniel Williams, the reigning 100-meter world champion, took on a stellar field. And in the end, it was Jasmine Camacho Queen who won this one with Akira Nugent taking a third. Puerto Rico's Jasmine Camacho Queen won in 12.38 with Nadine Vista of the Netherlands. I mean, that young lady is getting better and better running 12.54 to take second. Akira Nugent ran 12.55 to take that third spot. Great Stark of the United States came fourth in 12.59. Uh, and Jamaica's Queen, Daniel Williams, came fifth in 12.62 seconds. Congratulations to Queen Akira Nugent. Great way to close out your season. You've had a great season. Now the women's 400 meters hurdles. It was Anna Cockrell of the United States, Femke Ball, the cyborg of the Netherlands, and Jamaica's Cheyenne Salmon, as I had predicted, who would be the three women to battle to the line. Of course, we can't say battle regarding the Netherlands. Femke Ball, she was, she was a clear winner, and I did say that the battle would be on for second. Uh, in this instance, it was Anna Crockwell who took second. Cabal, of course, took first. Anna Crockwell took second. And Jamaica's Cheyenne Salmon, who's having the season of her life, walks away with a third place win in the finals of the Diamond League at Brussels Diamond League in the women's 400 meters. Her just congratulations to your queen. Femme Cabal won this one in 52.45 with Anna Cockrell taking second in 53.71. Cheyenne Salmon came third in 53.99. Shamir Little of the United States came fourth in 55.26. The other two fellow Jamaicans, Geneva Rosser came seventh in 55.94. And Anjanette Knight came eighth in 56.70. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. So this is officially, officially the last major race for the 2024 season. We have had a heck of a 2024 season. Of course, we'll talk about that in a few follow-up videos. 
Um, personally, I want to say thank you all very much for getting us here. We're almost at 44,000 subscribers, and it's because of you. So keep hitting that subscribe button so we can get there. And we see that you are beginning to purchase items at the Peter Lloyd online merchandise store myself and the team would like to say thank you very very much like i said we have a huge huge announcement coming up and i'm very very certain that the royals here you will be very very excited about this um something i've wanted to do for a long time i've done it in other spheres other fields but really wanted to do with regarding this so can't wait to sh share this with you now let's talk um akiba nugent great season didn't pull out the win here but the truth is, when I know my love I care anyway, just like I want to pick me them. Sorry. She's like one of my children. Love this little girl. I think she's going to be a world and Olympic champion. I've been saying that for two years now, and I'm telling you it's going to occur. Just didn't have a great start, and it's the end of the season, I think. It, you know, it just wasn't her day. Plus, she was up against another great stellar field. Camacho Quinn took the win in this one. Big up to Camacho Quinn. Daniel Williams, of course, always in the mix incredible incredible absolutely love her always a factor she is the most senior person the jamaican team the women's 100 meters hurdles and she has inspired all of these young young ladies you did see that uh, story we did on <coughs> akira newton speaking about how inspired and supported she's felt uh by daniel williams now romaine beckford high jump amazing season absolutely amazing season new pb made it to the diamond league finals didn't get into the top three but that's a huge deal for a very very young man rahinja campbell what can i say just having the season of his life and i think he's going to get even better two two national records in one year in the men's shot put a bronze medal in the paris olympic games and he comes up with the third place here in the diamond league finals I do think the sky is the limit for him. Now, unfortunately, yesterday I did not mention one of my most favorite um, athletes all time for Jamaica. Yeah, you're going to hear me saying this. I'm going to do a whole feature on him soon. Um, the, 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 the legendary, legendary Mr. Dakers, uh, um, who I believe, I think he came sixth overall. I didn't check the stats on that, but huge fan. We're going to talk about him uh, at a later date. The, the fact of the matter is, the field events are getting better and better and stronger and stronger. And Dakers is one of the first to have made that mark and has inspired, inspired many. I believe he's a national treasure, in, on my per in my personal opinion. Um, this, this has been a good season for Jamaica. Our Paris Olympic Games was not what we wanted. Oh, Natalia Gould topping. Um, up and down season. And I know that I see that sometimes... Um, I, th I, don't, I don't want to say you're not supportive of Natalia, but I think many of you are frustrated because you believe, just as I do, that she has a potential uh, to, to, to really become a great 800-meter uh, runner. Let me quickly correct all of you. She's already a great 800-meter runner. She's in the top five, top seven, or, um, for, consistently now for years. Um, I'm not going to say all time, but certainly one of the best, and I am a huge fan. I believe, given time, hopefully next season, she'll be able to put the formula together perfectly. Third place in the Diamond League Finals is a really good look. It's a good look, people. Um, I believe we had a great Diamond League Finals. We walked away with three gold medals, several third and second places. We did very, very well. So, kudos and congratulations to all the athletes. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to go over there and support our channel, our channel's merchandise store, Peter Lloyd World. We will leave a link in the comment section below. It will be pinned. Plus, there is a link in the description of the channel. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, the like button. Remember, you are royals, kings and queens. Bless up.